Number 84. The equilibrium constant Kc for this reaction is 5.0 at a given temperature, and then they give us this equation right here. So then they say, letter A, on analysis, an equilibrium mixture of the substances present at the given temperature was found to contain 0 0.20 moles of CO, uh, 0 0.30 moles of water vapor, and 0 0.90 moles of H2 in a liter. How many moles of CO2 were there in the equilibrium mixture? Okie dokie. So the first thing is, is that I see an equation. We're talking about equilibrium. So I have to write it down, right? I have to make it bigger. So as I'm writing this down, so we have carbon monoxide gas, right? I'm just going to make sure that this is balanced. I don't see any coefficients. So just make sure that your equations are always balanced, guys, okay? Or else the math could be off. So I have carbon dioxide and then H2, so hydrogen gas. And I'm just scanning this. And let's see, I got two hydrogens, two hydrogens. I have two oxygens, one oxygen here and one oxygen here. I got one carbon, so we're balanced. Now, they did tell us that this was in equilibrium already, right? So we have equilibrium values. They didn't tell me any start values. Equilibrium. So I don't have to write an ice table. I could just go straight to my equilibrium values. Let's just write out what they give me. Uh, they say 0 0.20 moles of CO, so 0 0.20 moles of this. I have 0 0.3 moles of the water vapor, so that's this, right? 0 0.30 moles. H2O gas is water vapor, aka steam. I have 0 0.9 moles of H2, so that's over here. The 0 0.90 moles of uh, H2. And then they're just asking for how many moles of the CO2. That's this, right? So I don't know what this is, so I'll label this as X. Okay. So we have basically a lot of the numbers. We are solving for CO2, and they give us a KC value. They told us that the KC was 5.0, so we can go straight to using that KC expression. The KC expression is this one, right? We've seen this. Concentration of products divided by concentration of reactants. And remember, only aqueous and gases are allowed in this formula. So always just check your states. But it looks like we're good, right? Gas, 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 and gas. So all of these are going to be included in the expression. So let's just write down our specific equation. So we got Kc equals, let's put that line there, two products. So they're both gases, so they will both get included. We got concentration of CO2, okay, times the concentration of H2. Remember, when you're uh, using this formula, if you have multiple products or reactants, they will get multiplied by each other. I raise them both to the first because their coefficients, right, you raise them to the coefficients, but they're both one. So there was no numbers here. That means that you only had one of them, so you raise them to the first. And then we go down to the bottom, same thing here. The coefficients are going to be 1, so I don't have to really raise them to anything. So we've got a concentration of CO, and then I got H2O. Okie dokie. Now, key in here, guys, these are brackets, and remember, brackets means concentration, and another word for concentration is molarity not moles. They gave you the mole value. But in order to use this formula, I need to know the molarity. Remember the molarity formula, right? Molarity equals moles divided by liters. Now, they were nice here, right? Did they tell us uh, how many liters we had? Yeah, they said that we had, you know, 0.2 moles of CO, the 0.3 moles of water vapor, and the 0.9 moles of H2 in a liter a liter. That means a single liter. So how many liters? One. So this number technically was one liter. So if we just take our moles and divide by one, we would get the molarity. But anything divided by one is the same. So basically I can just change out these and all the mole values and they would become molarity. Right? Because 0.2 moles divided by 1 is 0.2. So 
I could just get rid of all the moles, and now this all becomes the molarity. And now I can use the numbers. So let's see. I have this being 0 0.90, these two, 0 0.20, 0 0.30 for the H2O, and they told us that the Kc was 5. So now I'm ready to just plug everything in. So we have 5.0 equals, let's see, we got our x value. Remember, this is what we're solving for. So this was x, right? So x times 0 0.90. And then we're going to divide it by the 0 0.20. And then that gets multiplied by 0 0.30. Looks like a simple cross multiplication to me at the beginning, right? I see I have all these numbers multiplied by each other and then these guys right as well. So I'll put it up here. So calc these out. I get 5 times 0 0.2, 5 times 0 0.2 times 0 0.3. I get 0 0.3 equals 0 0.90x, right? This times x is just 0.90x. I want to get rid of the 0 0.90, so I will divide by each side by 0 0.90, and then I will get the answer. So 0.3 divided by 0.9. Uh, rounding with sig figs, all the numbers that they gave me were two sig figs, so I'll give two back. 0 0.33 molarity, and that's of the CO2. Two, right? That's this guy. So, if I just erase this, and I say that I have 0 0.33 molarity of this, remember, though, that they asked for the moles of CO2, right? So maybe I won't. I'll leave it at a, as X. I'll just work over here. But remember, it was one liter, right? So I can rearrange this formula, just so that you guys are familiar with these formulas again. Your moles equals molarity times liters. This times 1 is the same number. So I have 0 0.33 moles of CO2. And that is your final answer. Okay. So part A is done for this one, guys. There's another part, which is part B. That's coming up in a little bit. So hang tight. In the meantime, if you wouldn't mind, please press the subscribe button. That will help us out tremendously. It just gets the word all across the YouTube universe in the whole world that this channel exists. And I thank you so much for that. I appreciate you guys. Let's keep rocking and rolling, and I'll see you in letter B. Bye-bye.